This is the 13 Eyewitness News Sports Desk, driven by your central Indiana Chevy dealers. Hi, everybody. Can you believe it? 200 days from right now, the world will be focused on Tokyo, Japan for the Summer Olympics. And a Brownsburg graduate will be right in the middle of it all, trying to pedal her way to not one, but two gold medals. If you stop in for a haircut at this Brownsburg barber shop, you'll get in the mood for the Olympics. Gretchen is the owner and proud mom. That's her daughter in that picture and in that one and probably about a dozen more. What do you think when you walk in the store and you see all this stuff? It's a little overwhelming, but no, <laughs> it's really neat. I, I really, it it's really means a lot to have, you know, the support from my mom and um, just to see how much she cares and to see how, you know, involved she is with my career. She's earned all the attention. Meet Chloe Digert, an eight-time world champion cyclist. She won an Olympic silver medal four years ago in Rio, and she's only 23. What's it like to, to actually put on the red, white, and blue at the Olympics? What is that, what is that emotion like that? I can't even imagine that. I mean, any time I wear the USA colors, it's uh, always an honor. I, uh, it's just, it, it's so, it's so special. And, you know, this was our, um, this is a suit that we wore in the Olympic Games. Chloe lives and trains in Idaho, but she came back to her childhood Brownsburg home for the holidays, a chance to reflect on her quick rise to success. That was my first ever World Cup, so my first time ever at a race. Wow. She didn't grow up dreaming to be an Olympic cyclist. She played basketball, soccer, and ran track, but her dad loved to ride bikes, and he thought his daughter would too. I had no interest. I didn't want to ride bikes. I did not like bikes. He kept getting me bikes for my birthday and Christmas, and I just was so upset, hated it. And, um, yeah, you know, he just kept getting me on that bike and um, actually bribed me for my first race. And if I won, I got a pair of Oakleys. So, of course, I had to win. You know, and... Well, Chloe fell in love with cycling and discovered she's a natural at the sport. She's always thrived on competition. In fact, here she is dominating the boys in grade school during a fun run. Good job, Chloe. For sure. I mean, anything that get to the finish line first, anything, anything competition at all, I have to win. That drive to compete pushes her every day to get better, and now it's all about chasing Olympic gold. I can't look at it as the Olympic Games. You know, I, I look at a local race here in Indiana at the same level as the Olympics. Obviously it's not, but that's how I have to look at it because, you know, you can't, you can't, you know, if I, if I get, obviously I get nervous for bigger races and stuff, but you, know, you can't let it get to your head. The next six months, Chloe will train and focus on her next big challenge, the Olympics, the world stage in Tokyo. She's going to win a gold medal, and you're going to watch it right here on Channel 13. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah, we believe, too. It's yes. always going to be the talk of Indiana talk. if that happens. Yeah, for sure. I love her competitive spirit. Yes. She's like, we're going to win. We're going to win. <laughs>